Hello, Tom from Every Step Physics, Every Step Calculus dot com. Um, we're doing this physics problem regarding they're asking for angular acceleration. I always uh, advise the people that buy my programs that they should, on any problem, put a square box around angular acceleration, what they're asking for, and then off on the side in the column or someplace. Uh, you put in what's given, in this case 0.45 rads per second, and then they got the revolutions at 0.3. So then you know what you're looking for. You don't have to read the problem anymore, don't have to see what's happening um, whatsoever, okay? So let's do it. I put the um, physics, you know, in the in the entry line of the calculator, and up comes a menu, and we're going to scroll to number five, angular acceleration. I'm just going to press the number here. Press enter. I try to help you as much as possible. If rads per second are given in your problem, choose that in my menu. Okay, okay, we're going to do that. And so now I don't see it here, so you have to kind of get used to it and kind of look at certain things, but it's all alphabetical. So we're going to go down here to, here's rads and revs, okay? Choose that. And we're going to enter the variables. Here's rads per second. We're going to push in alpha. point four five revolutions are alpha point three omega f is the final angular velocity okay Omega i is initial angular velocity. And the initial is equal to 0.45 rads per second. The revolutions are 0.3 revolutions. Now just for a minute, take a look at this crap that's over here that this nerd who answered this problem, I guess correctly, puts down. Now you're supposed to look at this and say, now let's see, now how can I do this or how can I learn from this or what does this mean? And he's got 0.3 here, r equals 0 0.6 pi rads. They always write sloppy, these nerds. They write really small, too, because all these problems are beneath them. They want to show you that they're too good for this stuff. This is too simple for them. So they scribble down this answer and come up with the answer, and they're brilliant, you know. And um, so anyways, let's press Enter here. I always give you a chance to change things in case you made a mistake in it. Now notice mine, you got theta equals radians, okay, equals 2 pi revolutions, 2 pi point 0.3 equals 1.88 rads, okay? That's pretty clear, pretty clean, a lot better than this crap over here. I don't know what, what any of this is. So now we got the angular velocity final squared minus the initial angular velocity squared is equal to 2 times the angular acceleration times theta. So here's zero. Now notice he's got zero here. You don't even know what zero means. There's no, there's no first formula where you can actually follow something. You just put zero down. Well, is, what is zero, you know? Now this is equal to, of course, 0.45 squared is equal to 0.203, and then we have angular acceleration, and we can make two times 0.1, no, 2 times 1.88 is 377. So we solve for angular acceleration, come up with 0 0.05371, which is letter A here for the answer. Um, <coughs> notice that they're not really teaching when these problems 
physics they're teaching how well you do algebra ok and then of course you gotta memorize all this stuff this is just one problem out of a hundred that you're gonna have to memorize I gave you something else here you know time for to stop is 8.3776 the reason is that because some tests would might ask for that or did ask for that so then I'm, I always program from tests so anyways go to my site buy my programs for 30 bucks why go through this misery buy the programs and pass physics okay hey have a good one